Let the rebels begin! The seas part for we alone! The seas part for we alone! The seas part for we alone! Ah! How our hearts sing in the chaos! Souls, I salute you! Earth and stone at our beck and call!
Seize heart for we alone! Nary a peep from the shellbacks, sir. It's enough to make one wonder. The Red have sounded the alarm. The Isle of Zeki under attack. Fierce fighting in the stronghold. The vault breached by outsiders and strange tales from deep within. All this the Red cannot ignore. Even now, they abandon their posts and flock to the Isle. The Garleans are powerless to stop them. I'll be damned they did it. Well, Captain, wages notwithstanding, I dare say we will not have a better opportunity to drive the Imperials from Asari and rescue our men. On the other hand... Naught was put in writing, but if your mind is made up, then that is that. I should add that if you were to change your mind, none would gainsay your decision, nor think you beholden to your past. Nor would anyone begrudge you a spot of revenge into the bargain. Like the Little Miss said, we knew this day would come. Isari may be a rotting husk, but at least the tavern keeper never watered down his drinks. Well said. For a temperate man. Hear me, comrades! 
We made a bargain with the Aeorsians, and I mean to uphold our end of it. I mean to remind the Garlians that this is our sea, that all here belongs to the Confederacy. All that is theirs is ours for the taking, and take it we shall. We will strip them of everything they hold dear. This one is iron. My hands will break before he speaks. Oh, come he give me strength. Are you good at anything? I had hoped this might prove more productive than blind inquiries, but I see you are determined to waste my time. Very well. Line them up. Kill one for every question he refuses to answer. Hurt them, and you will get naught from me. You have given me precisely that thus far, so what have I to lose? Mark me, Samurai. I will find Lord Hien, be it with your help, or with your heads. Come! You will pay for the Confederacy. They've come to save us! And this, after I took such pains to cow them. Even pirates have their pride, I suppose. Enough to march to their deaths, no less. Ah, oh, the stupidity of it all. It truly is a sickness. I shall just have to lance the boil. Drain them of every last trace of honor and compassion. Every last drop. My lady, I... I'm going outside. Kami are not finished with you yet. To them. They just keep coming. Then we must be doing something right. We have to hold out for as long as we can. He's counting on us. Oh. Suzano is slain! Slain by the shellless one! Did you defeat him? Well, in that case, how do you fancy helping us keep the Kojin occupied until the Confederacy make their move? Speak of the Devils, that's coming from Isari. I think we've done all we can here. Let's withdraw and make for the village. 
Right. Although, they don't seem keen to let us go. Hear me, Cogent of the Red. We have no quarrel with you, only your Imperial Masters. No more blood need be shed this day. I pray you let us go in peace. You dare speak to us of peace? Your flesh will feed the fishes, thief! Attack! Now's our chance. Don't worry about her, she can handle herself. I can't let you take all the glory, can I? Thank you. 
My Eorzean friends. Saw the smoke, did you? A pity you did not come sooner, though I gather you were busy elsewhere. Gazetsu! You're alive. You're all alive. And full of vim and vigor. <laughs> <laughs> did I not tell you I was no stranger to chains? The fighting cannot have lasted long. Where are all the Imperials? Fled. They stood their ground for a time, until it became clear that their Corgian reinforcements would not be coming. We took some few casualties, but my deeper regret is having let Yotsuyu slip through my fingers. That bodyguard of hers may be a halfwit, but he's a mean bastard on the battlefield. In any event, I imagine all involved are satisfied with this outcome. 
So far as the Empire is concerned, the Confederacy attacked Asari in retaliation for the Viceroy's actions. And without the aid of insurrectionists, I might add. Suffice it to say, we are prepared to be the subject of their undivided attention for the foreseeable future. <laughs> An impossible claim, yet one spoken with such conviction that I cannot choose but believe it. Your assistance would be most welcome. Nevertheless, we shall do our utmost to spare you undue danger. We are already in your debt. Nay, little miss, all debts are paid. For by your deeds, many still live who elsewise would not. Let both parties count their blessings, and may fortune continue to favor us all. You still seek to bring freedom to our people there. You will go to Yansha. I have faith that our allies yet live. Once we have found them, we will plan our next step. Yansha was the crucible of the rebellion. What happened here pales in comparison to what Yotsuyo did there. Remember this. Fear changes men. Have care in whom you place your trust. And with that, we must take our wounded home. Oh, your shellback friend sends his regards and looks forward to your next meeting. Try not to die before then, eh?
We cannot rest here for long. This place is not safe. Mayhap no worries, if thieves can breach our vaults. Nevertheless, it is our duty to protect these treasures, and we shall not fail for want of effort. So, this is why you abandoned your posts. And without a word of explanation at that. Rather thoughtless of you, was it not? Lady Yotsuyo, pray forgive us our absence, but our home was under attack, our vaults plundered by outsiders. Did you even pause to consider the possibility that it might be a diversion? What is the point of contracting your services if you are not here when they are required? It is my solemn charge to bring these vermin to heal. To torment them, body and soul, until all they hold dear is as bitter ashes in their mouths. And then you go and ruin everything! Well, there's naught to be gained in belaboring the point. All that remains is to administer your punishment. Wait, my lady! No. No, it's no good. There's just no joy in it. No release. There... there needs to be some investment. There were negligent imbeciles deserving of punishment, but it was hardly personal. Ten thousand such caution could not satisfy me half so well as a single dollar. One of the vaunted treasures of the realm? The craftsmanship is certainly impressive. Mayhap we can use it to make amends. How long before Lord Xenos reinstates me, do you reckon? I've got unfinished business back in Aeorzea. Having me really so unbearable. At least pretend to enjoy, you witless lump! If you are so desperate to earn a way back to Eorzea, then be quiet and do as you're told. And bring that sword while you're at it. I remember the silence, how the talking stopped when we first set foot on the plains of Yansha.
Before us stood yet another wall, and through a great Magitek field we glimpsed Doma Castle. I'll never forget the sight, or the anger I felt that day. Life, liberty, hope, so much lost, so much taken. As we walked through that war-torn land, no one said a word. 